Attack footage. Ukraine destroys dozen Russian T-90M tanks that they call world's best. Ukrainian drone operators have struck a Russian T-90 tank and prevented Moscow's forces reclaiming the vehicle, according to Kiev. Operators of the Rarig Strike Drone Company of the 24th Mechanized Brigade damaged the newest Russian tank T-90 and prevented its evacuation with another hit, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry said in a post to social media on Wednesday. The Rarig is a mythological fire demon. In the footage, drone clips show the tank in an unspecified location before an unmanned aerial vehicle UAV strikes the vehicle. A second drone then hits the area next to the damaged tank. Two drones worth several thousand dollars destroyed a tank worth three million dollars, the defense ministry wrote on Twitter. It is difficult to establish the cost of the varying models of T-90 tank which reportedly range up to around $4.5 million. Ukraine has previously published footage showing Kyiv's fighters targeting T-90 tanks, which are upgraded versions of the earlier T-72. The Russian state media have called the T-90M Pror of the most advanced armored vehicle in the family of T-90 main battle tanks and most of all fit for modern warfare thanks to its all-round armor protection, top-notch all-weather highly automated fire control and enhanced survivability. In an interview with pro-Russian military bloggers, Putin said that the so-called special military operation in Ukraine has confirmed that the T-90M Prorev is the world's best main battle tank. Today, we can say that the T-90M Prorev is the world's best tank. As soon as it approaches positions, no chance is left for anyone or anything. It fires to a longer range and more accurately. It also has better protection, Putin said. According to Dutch open-source intelligence outlet, Oryx, Russia has lost 35 Tesla 90A, 1 Tesla 90AK and 7 Teslaminus 90 Siemens tanks since February 2022. For this count, Russia has also lost a further 25 Tesla 90M tanks, which Russia has touted as a breakthrough vehicle. However, this estimate of Russia's military losses is considered conservative and will likely be higher. This is what modern warfare looks like, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry said on Wednesday. Drones have featured prominently in the war effort for both Russia and Ukraine. Drones are the super weapon here. Anton Geshenko, an advisor to Ukraine's Minister of Internal Affairs, told me to you in February. Drones, particularly Iranian-made shot UAVs, have been used by Russia as a cheaper alternative to missile strikes, with Ukraine often needing to deploy more costly air defenses to bring them down. On Wednesday, the general staff of Ukraine's armed forces said Russian forces had launched 20 shot drone strikes on Ukrainian targets overnight. The UAVs were launched from the Russian base in Kursk, on Ukraine's northeastern border and from a military facility at Primorsko Aktarsk in Russia's Krasnodar region. Sure. 
All 20 drones were brought down by Ukrainian air defenses, the military said in an operational update. But Ukraine has also invested in its army of drones, looking to what experts say is a rapidly developing technology that is here to stay. The drone war was very much escalating, according to Steve Wright, senior research fellow in avionics and aircraft systems at the University of the West of England, UK. Drones will only become a more common feature on the battlefield, he told media earlier this month. Russia's army is estimated to have lost nearly 40% of its pre-war fleet of tanks after nine months of fighting in Ukraine, according to a count by the specialist think tank the International Institute of Strategic Studies ES. That rises to as much as 50% for some of the key tanks used in combat, forcing Russia to reach into its still sizable Cold War stocks. Ukraine's tank numbers are estimated to have increased because of the number it has captured and supplies of Soviet tanks from its Western allies.